Hey guys, uh, I know my last commentary was at the Battle of Lumbridge, but it's just something I've been doing a lot lately because I'm getting close to 99 woodcutting, which I will have in a separate video soon. Uh, that's like two or three days of Battle of Lumbridge if I do it all day. So yeah, that's going to be really cool. But the main focus of this commentary really is I had a really good uh, topic in mind that one of my friends in the clan, in my clan, that uh, kind of made me think about it. So Thanks to him. So the topic is what games did I play as a child or a kid or whatever in my childhood. Even though I still am in my childhood, you can consider because I'm only 16. But, you know, I don't consider these as my child years because they're my current years. I mean, I'm not going to consider right now my childhood. So obviously five or six years from now, yeah, it'll be my childhood. But right now, nah, it's not. So... I'll be mostly talking about like when I was 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, around that age, even up to like 15, I don't know. But, alright, the first game system that I remember playing was a Dreamcast, Sega Dreamcast, that was when I was super young. Um, I don't really remember any games on it except House of the Dead, which I saw my dad play, but it was too scary for me to even watch. But uh, then I got a little older and we got a PlayStation 1, which it wasn't new at the time. Um, I, it was probably a few years old when I got it. And, uh, I played a lot of Spider-Man and, uh, other games on that. I don't really remember a lot of games, but it was really fun because that's what I did when I came home. Just played games, uh, but I didn't play games that much back then. I didn't get into, I didn't get into playing games a lot until, until a little later, which is coming up. Then around, uh, year 2000, um, uh, around the year that, that PlayStation 2 came out. I think we got it about a week after it came out. Oh my god. It was the best thing ever. PlayStation 2. I played so many games on it. It was so fun. I had a blast just playing random games. And then uh, I started becoming friends with my now best friend in real life, um, Tanner. He, I went to his house one time and uh, I went over and I'm like, oh dude, you have a PlayStation 2. He's like, yeah, yeah, I got a PlayStation 2. So... Um, that was a very great conversation, but um, he showed me some games on it. I didn't have any of these. I mean, my parents would let me have these type of games. They were violent, but I never, you know, got them. I ne I, I could. I mean, I, I watched rated R movies since I was like four, so it didn't really matter. My parents were not that strict on that kind of thing. So I played at his house, and I'm like, oh my god, these are addicting. Like, the game I remember playing a lot was Medal of Honor, the... The Sun one, I don't know the exact name, but it has Sun in the title or Don or something. Um, that game was awesome. I loved playing that with uh, with my friend. And we just played that for hours, just sitting over there and playing that. And then he introduced me to another game that is now one of my favorite series of all time for games is Dynasty Warriors. Uh, I don't know if any of you heard that, but it's uh, heard of that. But that's like a Japanese game that is set in China in 200 AD around there it's it's actually a big time span but it's pretty much just a hack and slash game and it is so fun and addicting and you get used to the characters they become part of you i can list all of the characters right now if i wanted to i'm not going to waste the time to do it but i could that's how big of an impression it made on me and it, and i bought every single game in the series i loved that game series and i still do to this day but uh, i don't play it as often because like i said in past commentaries, I'm more of a PC gamer now, and they're not the greatest on PC, and or they might not even be on PC that much. So, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I, I regret it, but, you know, I, I did play Neopets back in, like, 2003, 2004. Um, don't hate on me. You know, everyone knows about Neopets. I'm pretty sure everyone has played it. So you can't give me shit for playing a game that pretty much everyone has played. I played with my sister, so... You know, I, I, what, I'm not gay. Let's just keep it at that. Anyways, now to a different point, yeah. And come 2006, everyone was talking about the PS3 in school. And I'm like, wow, PS3. So I looked it up, and it's the new system. So I'm like, wow, that is awesome. And uh, we got it the first week of release. It was awesome. And I am so glad that we got it. It was, it's still my favorite system in terms of console, um, in terms of consoles. I'm not buying the new consoles like PS4 and Xbox One because I'm sticking to PS. Uh, I'm sticking to PC because I'm a Steam player, and uh, yeah. So I played Call of Duty on the 
PS3, that's what got me into it. It's because of COD 4. And I was addicted. I didn't even have I didn't even have online. I didn't get online until 2008. So I was playing COD um, campaign over and over. And that was fun as hell. So I had a lot of fun on the PS3. I still do to this day. I play Saints Row 4 on it. I play uh, Resistance games. Well, my friend has it, but... Um, I play a lot of games. I played hundreds and hundreds of hours on Skyrim on PS3, which uh, I wish I did on PC because I have it on PC now, and it's the Game of the Year edition, kind of, well, a Legendary edition, and uh, I only have 50 hours on it, so I haven't played much of it, um, mainly because I got too much into YouTube and RuneScape and RuneScape videos, so I haven't really had time to play Steam games and combo that with school, and I just don't have time. And so, yeah, um, gaming has been a huge part of my life since I was a kid and it always will be a huge part of my life. I know people that like when they leave school, they just stop what they do. Like they're very interested in something when they're a teenager and then they go to school like college and they just give up on it because they don't have time. I can understand that to a point. When I go to college and I have so much on my plate, let's say I have absolutely no time to play games, I will find time because it's my hobby. I love making videos, I love making games, <laughs> I love playing games and I don't I never see myself st stopping like even if I had a work overload in college and I still was doing this YouTube thing I would try my hardest to make videos because I love making videos it's what gets me through the school week well it, it makes my school week fun like so yeah I go to school and I and it's fun there but I'm not I'm not a huge school fan but then I come home and I play RuneScape that's what I used to do for years and then, and I liked it that way, but now I'm to the point where because I have a following on YouTube, I want to make videos and I want to see you guys' feedback and I want, it just makes it fun to play RuneScape. It makes it fun to come home, be on the computer and be like, yeah, I can make a video. I got some time. And even though this school year is pretty rough, I think I can do it and, I, and I'm doing it well. It's already a month into the school year and I'm doing well. So yeah, I know this commentary has been been dragged on for like eons and millennia, um, and it kind of like twisted from gaming to like my YouTube. But you know that's just how I commentate. I ramble. That's all I do. So hopefully you liked it and subscribe if this is your first video and like it if you enjoyed. I will see you guys later.